Mom and Dad split up a year ago. Not that any divorce is great, but we kids did fairly well in keeping our contact with Dad while living with Mom. I'm about to enter grad school, and the campus is near where Dad lives. So, I'm excited to be able to spend more time with him. However, recently, Dad has found a new partner, and his interactions with me have become fewer and far between. I heard Mom talking with him the other night, and she accused him of pulling away from his children because of that new woman. I thought about Mom's words, and I believe Mom was right. Dad has been interacting less with me since that new partner came along. Maybe it's time I intervene and try to move that woman along. But if I fail, Dad may never speak to me again. I sure miss Dad. There will always be times in our lives when everything was going our way until the proverbial rug is pulled out from under us. For children, divorce can be that actor pulling on the rug. We sit as mere puppets waiting for a final decision on who gets to keep us. Then we're shuffled around like pets being shared with a visiting parent. For a limited time, for a limited purpose, waiting for that bell to ring, which sends us back to the original cages until the next appointed timeshare arises. And even if the timeshare parent tires of us, we may never leave our cage again. For you, you simply can't let go of the memories of spending time with your father. Many would feel helpless at this point, but your training with the Stoicists has given you a different perspective on how to meet such challenges. In essence, you know to look for what you can control and implement your strategy to the fullest. And in this situation, you decide you will create more memories with your dad by writing him daily about the past events you remember as being the most precious in your life that the two of you shared together. You're sending your daily memories by email and postage mail to increase the likelihood that he will receive and read them. The emails are to his personal and work email addresses the postage mail to his home and work addresses. Your goal is to write and ensure to the best of your ability that he receives the writings. For through your efforts, you are continuing to keep your dad foremost in your mind, which is something you can control. And maybe, just maybe, dad will exercise his control and find a way to spend personal time with you as well and personal off-the-book meetings with your dad are most welcome. Now using my stoic storytelling method, my dad's new partner is trying to keep him from his children. What should I do? Our actions may be impeded, but there can be no impeding our intentions or dispositions because we can accommodate and adapt. The mind adapts and converts to its own purposes the obstacle to our acting. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Marcus Aurelius Build up, build up, prepare the road, remove the obstacles out of the way of my people. Book of Isaiah I will increase my efforts to reach out to my dad. It's showtime for me. I realize my efforts to teach him will keep him at the forefront of my mind as I send my love to him daily. The character trait I improved was realizing there is always something in my control, and I must take the time to find that something and use it when circumstances are ripe for its use. Thank you for sharing your mind with me. For your continued success, hear my secret. When they can't find the time, take control and make it show time. Now relax, control your mind, and be as you wish to seem, empowered. Remember, 
It's the situation keeping my connection with him. I'm Lori Stiff, the Stoicist, and I believe in you.